So we are given a metal disc which is rotating with angular velocity omega. We are supposed to find the potential difference between the center and the rim. So here the electrons will drift towards the rim due to centrifugal force because it is rotating until electric field thus generated cancels it. That is Me omega square r becomes equal to electrostatic force E. So this E is at a distance r. It is not a constant. So this gives E as a function of r. Now small potential difference dv across this small element dr here will be e dot dr and e and dr are in the same direction that will become e dr. So we'll put the value of e here and integrate r from 0 to a to get our answer. Here the ratio of mass of electron to electronic charge is very very small. So it is of a very small magnitude and that's the reason we are going to ignore it in B part. Where the EMF induced because of the external magnetic field is much more than EMF because of the centrifugal force. So the field is inside the plane. So when the conductor is rotating like this, let's take a small element dr here at a distance r. So small emf will be induced in this dr element. Then that emf, let's call it de. So we are going to integrate that from center to rim to find the total emf between the two points. So let de be the small motional emf induced due to the length dr and it's traveling with velocity omega r. So now we can, we have velocity, we have length, we have magnetic field. So EMF induced is B V D R. V is omega r. This gives the value of small d e. So to find the total EMF, we integrate it. And here the variable is r. We will put the limits 0 to a and get our answer.